हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एडुकेमीज यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ करुणा मिश्रा एंड आई विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद आर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन सीरीज डिफरेंट टीचर्स हैव टेकन फॉर डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स माई एरिया ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज वुड बी साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो वेन यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग योर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन और वेन यू आर एनालाइजिंग योर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन यू शुड कीप दीज थिंग्स इन माइंड फर्स्ट इज वॉट इज द टोन और वॉट आर द एरियाज विद इन अ टेक्नोलॉजी विच माई यू पी एस सी जनरली आस्क is it very basic or do i have to get in detail second is from my previous year question is there anything which is going on right now which can be relevant for my current exam third is go through the options sometimes in the options also there are new questions which can be framed so you have to keep that in mind you just don't have to read the question learn it by heart and go to the exam it won't solve any purpose the idea is to analyze these questions so let us start our analysis and the area of analysis for me today will be uh, in within my science and technology i will be taking information and communication technology uh, also called as the ict the ict part if you see uh, the previous year papers you will see that a lot of questions have been asked from information and technology area reason being this goes very closely with the governance part you have a lot of government schemes uh, which incorporate the ict areas and therefore you find a lot of questions from this digital signature uh, public key infrastructure etc so we will be taking two such questions today and uh, the first question being from the year 2016 but is as relevant as it can be in this prelims also is about the bitcoins so the question here is saying with the reference to bitcoins sometimes seen in the news which of the following statements is are correct the first one is they are tracked by the central banks of the country second is anyone with the bitcoin address can send and receive bitcoins third is the online payments can be sent without either side knowing the identity now before jumping to any answer i have understood one thing that my first option my first option is talking about central authority so it is saying that the bitcoins are regulated by some central authority and in the statement they have talked about central banks for example your country has rbi all right the second statement says that there is to and fro movement there is to and fro movement among participants and third is that it is maintaining anonymity it is maintaining anonymity bitcoin is nothing but a cryptocurrency it is a cryptocurrency also known as digital currency what are the features of digital currency is what you read from your current affair magazines material etc what upsc has asked is directly the situation in which those features can be added so i think it is very simple question it is not centrally controlled there is no central agency which controls the bitcoins yes sending and receiving bitcoins when someone has an address is very very simple and most important why this cryptocurrency culture is gaining momentum is because of the anonymity along with along with the use of blockchain which makes the transactions very very secure so now let us jump to understanding the technology the science behind this question and this is my answer which is b 2 and 3 so let me understand what is cryptocurrency my cryptocurrency is a subset of virtual currencies it is decentralized and it is protected by my cryptography cryptography is i am using cryptic signs in order to protect the transaction and no alteration can be done now talking about what are virtual currencies virtual currencies are one they are a medium of exchange they have a unit of account and they store value which is not similar to fiat currency for example if i am having a coin it has some fiat value on its intrinsic values on it my virtual currencies do not have that in fact the value of the virtual currencies goes up and down depending on the demand it is directly linked to my market my virtual currency is a digital representation of value that can be traded and has these functions 
now coming to the technology which is my blockchain technology so my cryptocurrency uses blockchain technology what is a blockchain technology it is a secure way to record transactions it is a secure way to record transactions and circulate it among the signatories who are signatories the people which are involved in the blockchain transactions and they are for a particular target group for example here cryptocurrency account holders so blockchain technology is a more comprehensive concept cryptocurrency is one of the products which blockchain technology has to offer most importantly very important is it is a democratic ledger it is a democratic ledger that is the entries can be done by all the participants but there cannot be any manipulation or changing which can be done they can be shared easily and it works or operates without any central authority so with these features blockchain technology offers a whole lot of new services and is now also is now also being adopted by various governments very briefly let us understand how it actually works so a transaction is requested for example i have to send money to some person now this transaction request is broadcasted via the network so the entire network knows that such a transaction is being requested my network will validate the transaction this transaction will be represented as a block this block will be added to the existing chain and then my transaction will be complete so it is like if this is one block this will be another block and no changes can be done in these blocks they are one after the other and once the transaction is done no alteration means there is limited possibility of any sort of fraud or manipulation so this is how the whole blockchain technology system works this is where it can be implemented there are so many advantages of using blockchain technology as we can see here i can use it for my trade i can use it in the energy sector i can use it in the real estate i can use it in the government or governance which is very important area we will be seeing that i can use it for my health care apart from that the technology part is it is very transparent it has reduced the overall cost it has improved the speed and efficiency the traceability is true in nature and the security is enhanced apart from that uh, the level of security reduced hijacking or hacking threats all of this all of this is the added feature which blockchain technology provides and this is the very reason why in india i am having the center of excellence in bengaluru to provide blockchain as a service first second is my niti ayog has started an ambitious project called as india chain which will be developing a nation wide blockchain network apart from that many state governments are also adopting to this technology uh, one of the example being andhra pradesh where the digitization of land records has been done and transportation has been done using blockchain and most importantly on the global level i am having world economic forum world economic forum which has given me the guidelines under the name global blockchain council so within this council i have been given guidelines or principles called as the blockchain bill of rights which can be considered which can be considered as your basics to implement blockchain in governance so this is what the country india is doing when it comes to my blockchain technology all right so i hope this helps we took a previous year question we understood the rationale we understood the points given in the question we implemented it integrated it with my current affairs and my basic knowledge and i think my topic is done let us take another such question another such question is my public key infrastructure now i would like to remind you one more such question came on digital signatures one more question came on digital signatures in the previous years and this question came in the year 2020 which is my public key infrastructure these are related to digital security so option a is correct that digital security infrastructure is where my public key infrastructure is used 
as you see if i do not know very specifically all the other options mm. seem very close food security can be there health can be there telecommunication reason being this is a very generic name right so let us now understand what exactly public key infrastructure is and what was the reason it was given so the reason it was given was because of increasing e-commerce so let us understand how public key infrastructure came into news so basically this was a system which was designed for creation storage and distribution of the digital certificates now different entities are entering and exiting a system so my digital certificate is used to verify that a particular public key belongs to a certain entity so there are these public keys i have to ascertain that such such entity is the owner of that public key and in order to ascertain that all the government and public private all the players which are involved in the infrastructure will be verifying that and then there will be a surety that you know so and so uh, public key belongs to a certain entity so this is again related to my e-commerce and from e-commerce this is related to my cyber security so uh, these are the two questions i hope you understood the rationale behind the series we will be coming up with more questions till then Happy learning keep on reading all the best for your prelims exams thank you so much